get it in replay. Yeah, well, probably in terms of the fight of the board, it could have been out, but it was a foolish thing on Palmer's behalf, Peter, because uh, he, he had a good flight at the ball, and he's obviously Evans conscious, and Tim Evans shouldn't miss this one. Right on the edge of the square, towards the River Torrens end. Goes for home, a long kick, a good kick, and Evans has got his first and Port Adelaide second. Well, goals are easy to come by some days. Very easy it would appear, but the rule's there if you interfere within five metres. If you can call that interference. Tim Evans got the free kick and kicked his goal. Two goals, Port Adelaide. South, 1-2. At the centre bounce, Johnson. And Condor had trouble with James early. Got the kick up towards Cartier. Quick leap from behind. Magnificent Mark Phillips. He's having a look for movement. He gets one from Huppets. Conceded ground. Huppets puts a floater forward. Fair blow. Read it well. Good mark. Baines has given him the lead. That's where it goes. Baines has improved his football in the last couple of weeks. He puts it over to Carty having a run. Carty's got Snee Bickler at full forward. Goes short. Hewitt couldn't pick the ball up. Huppets gets the handball out. You see that went straight to the opposition. Hewitt's on the end of the handball. Here's a chance, South Adelaide. He won't miss. Through it goes. Hewitt's first goal. South Adelaide now 2-2 to Port Adelaide 4-1. What an unbelievable mistake by Port Adelaide in defence. They handballed straight to the opposition. And uh, Hewitt caught on the left leg. Watch it in replay now. I think it's Huppets who comes in there. Gives out a handball. It went straight to South Adelaide. Kepler gets it quickly across to Hewitt. Thought about the left foot, but no pressure put on that player. He could change to the right foot, put it through. South Adelaide have got their second goal on the board. They trail 2-2 to 4-1. South Adelaide doing it reasonably well too. Although Port Adelaide, very efficient in attack. Johnston and Brooksby again. Or Belton stole that one, but again he handballed to South Adelaide. Robin White was the recipient. Hakeley up, can't mark. There's Kepler. Oh, puts plenty of distance into that ball. Snee Bickler under it. Hughes read it beautifully. Good mark. Oh, he's going to play it on. Almost ran himself into trouble. Hakeley came in, intercepted in front of Eckerman. Hughes back to Eckerman. On to Phillips. Phillips will bounce Port Adelaide out of trouble. Kicks long with the left foot. Oh, into, to no one in particular. Baines from South Adelaide picks the ball up and kicks back to centre half forward. Carty under it. Out it comes, Johnson, Huppets, running himself almost into trouble. The whistle's gone. A free after disposal. That'll go to Kinnear. The umpire's playing it on. Kinnear's handball, not a good one. Belton caught it. Kinnear again. Fighting for form at the moment. Kinnear after injury. Kicks it off the ground. Ebert, Baines, out it comes. Ivanov in trouble. Gets the kick away. Baines again. Very scrappy football at the moment. Granger is caught. Cunningham leg, free kick. Very scrappy. Cunningham quickly gets the handball out. Kinnear is the running. Towards Evans out in front. Good mark. He's got it. The ball floated in nicely. He got a metre clear of Brooksby. And he's got the ball 45 metres out. Tim Evans. Towards the River Torrens end. Kicking into a slight breeze. He should make the distance. Nice looking drop punt. Holding up in the breeze. Close. Palmer get his hands to it. No. Goal. Evans is second. Port Adelaide 5-1. South Adelaide 2-2. Number six having a very interesting duel there with young Bradley as Hawkins comes back in for Brooksby. The kick to the half forward line. The two number 22s. It's Carty against Phillips. Phillips too quick. Finds Bradley on the half back line. Goes towards centre half forward now. Belton has left a fly for Port Adelaide. Schultz thumps it away from that player. Back towards centre wing. Oh, a little bit of uncertainty there. Nani stole the opportunity. Unlike Port Adelaide on the leash. The big look. Perfect pass. Took the heavy bump at centre half forward. And did it well. But gee, Port Adelaide. Three players stopped them. Look at one another. It's the Bickler quickly in towards goal. He's bonded. Goal. Port Adelaide have bad mistake. And South Adelaide made them pay. Bad mistake. All right in. A couple of Port Adelaide players uh, didn't read the ball very well. Naley pounced on it. That was his kick. Beautiful lead, Snee Bickler, and uh, he had to get rid of Leslie on the way through. And a superb kick for goal. South Adelaide still doing fairly well, I think. They've got uh, perhaps as much use of the ball as Port Adelaide. 
They're going with a slight breeze. South of 3-2, Port 5-1. Into time on by three minutes of the first quarter. It's Hawkins against Johnson, the two original Ruckman. Maley. Kaplakati Phillips thumps it away. Again by Cunningham out towards Bradley. White runs straight through that player, trying to get a handball away. Naley takes it off Hately, gets the kick away. Well done, Leslie, at centre half back. Plays on and looks for Johnson, centre field. The running player is James, changed his mind, now kicks long out, charges Evans, doesn't get a flight at the ball, coming to try to get through the pack was Gill. Granger upended, pushed in the back, and the free kick goes to the Port Adelaide centre half forward, about 45 metres out. Some spectators are happy about it. David Granger should make the distance, even though he's kicking to this slight breeze. Normally a powerful kicker of the ball. This one is going to be through, I believe. Look for the umpire goal. Just got it through. Port Adelaide 6-1, leading South Adelaide 3-2. We'll have a look at the free kick. You can make up your own minds as to whether it was there or not. I think it probably was, although David made, uh, made sure of it. There's David Granger, number 18. He's got the ball now. Ooh, don't know about that. Ivanoff appeared to grab him, and David took off. He got the free kick and kicked the goal. At the centre bounce, Hawkins against Johnson. Johnson grabbed it, threw it out, Ebert soccer fashion, front of Hoffner. Too much pace. Short in towards Huppert, over the top, Hately, good mark. And leg, 15 metres. Ron Hately, kick number seven coming up. Bradley's had how many? Five. So an interesting duel. Walled off the pack. Around the corner. Getting back. Eckerman gets there in time. Hewitt pushes him in the back. But the siren intervenes in any case. And we go to the quarter time break. Port Adelaide 6-1-37. Leading South Adelaide 3-2-20. Adelaide have still got a couple of players down that they are keen to get back into the game. Grange is one of them at centre half forward. Ben Harris playing in the seconds of course today. He's a, a capable backup for Granger if he can't make the grade. Short to Baines. Eckerman's in the centre of the ground at the moment. Oh, good mark, Hately. A little bit too much height for Bradley. Bradley's still playing well, though. Snee Bickley in front. Good mark. A bit too much attention from Phillips. 15 metres. Greg's going back pretty slowly. Carty's in the square. He's leading now, but I think Snee Bickley's going to go long. South players haven't got too much confidence in Wayne Carty today, unfortunately. Steve Bickler can certainly kick a long ball. That's not a good one. It's going to fall short. Huppert's in front. Oh, he copped a hard one. Couldn't take the mark. Eckerman with the ball in front of him. Played it well. Got the nudge in the back and got the free kick. He's going to kick it out to Phillips. Oh, well spoiled, Steve Bickler. Gee, that was hard work. He did it well. Hakeley kicks around his body. Very high. A floater. Underneath it, Johnson couldn't take the mark. It comes out to Carty. Here's a chance for the big fella. He hooks it across to Hewitt. That's good football. And Glenn Hewitt's got his chance now to kick his second goal. Pretty good movement from Carty then. I wonder if he, if, if he met it in. I don't know whether you're being a bit kind, Peter, there. I thought he might have chipped at goal, but whatever. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Hewitt's got the kick. Glenn Hewitt. South Adelaide desperate for a goal. He's a good goal kicker, is uh, Glenn Hewitt. Through it goes for his second. South Adelaide now 5-2, trailing the Magpies 9-3. Positions that he's played, he's settled into that half-forward spot pretty well. 11-3 port, South 5-2. Brooksby against Johnson. Brooksby gets the benefit of the bounce. Gives it to Fairclough. Towards the half-forward line, Phillips almost again. Now it was Leslie on this occasion, Eckerman, Hughes. Port Adelaide casually out of defence for a long kick by Hughes. Off the side of the boot somewhat. Hoffner almost. Bennett's given away the free kick for an illegal push when he was in the air. And the free kick goes to Hoffner, who didn't want it. 
back to Kinnear. Not good football. That or Hoffner might be somewhat shaken, although he's back in the action. That's dropping the ball. And the free kick goes to South Adelaide. They play on with it. Hewitt from centre wing goes long in towards Carty. He lumbers to meet the ball in the pocket. He'll need support. Dummies. Got no one to help him at all. Finally, the run comes. Comes from Stabickler. Almost caught. Hooked back in towards Kapler. Big leap there and a free kick will go South Adelaide's way for a push in the back. And I think it's going to teenager Darren Kapler. Let's have a look. Yes, right in front. Let's have a look at it in replay. The lad has been pushed out by Tony Giles. The umpire has whistled up and it's a free kick. To Kapler, 12 metres out in front. Just chips away and that's through the centre. His first goal and the Panthers kick back with their seven. 7-2 seven they trail Port Adelaide. Or 6-2 it is they trail Port Adelaide 11-3. It's his second league game and uh, South Adelaide is staying in business. Carty is obviously not fit. He can't run but uh, obviously showing a bit of courage even by being out there. Kapler got the nudge according to the umpire. Yes, he was looking at the umpire on the way down. He expected the free kick. Hawkins comes onto the ground. Nat's getting ready. Back to the centre with Port 11-3, South Adelaide 6-2. Well, South have got both Hawkins and uh, Brooksby on the ground at the moment to see who has been removed. Well, watch that. Perhaps Bruce can pick it up for us in a second. Haitley. Fairclough again, South Adelaide towards the half forward line, here's the chance, the Bickler ducks one tackle on the left leg, Phillips can't catch him, hooks around the corner, he's bottled a goal, what a toughy goal that was! His third, beautifully done Stabickler, and gee what a game they've had those two Peter, both have had their moments, Phillips and Stabickler. Well have they ever, and uh, Snee Bickler is an extremely good player, and uh, to be able to kick three goals against this sort of opposition, the way he did it was good, Went in two directions and kicked his third, Bruce McAvaney. Yes, Hayden Button's taken Darren Kapler off and he's sw uh, swapped his half-forward flank as Ward's come across onto Giles and Hawkins is now onto Robertson. Thank you, Bruce. 11-3 to 7-2, centre bounce. Johnson and Brooksby, neither player could get it. Cunningham came away with it, gave it to James. He's having a run on the ball. He was offloaded too. Back it goes towards Palmer. Ranger was caught on the opposite side of the ground then. Palmer swings it back, but all James in front took a strong mark. Played it on beautifully to Giles. Giles very short, looking for Bradley. The little wingman sweeps in, snares the ball and gives it to Cunningham. A quick kick to centre-half forward, nobody at home, and a mark taken by Shules. Hately short, that's where it goes. What a good game Hately's having. Takes off, gee, held onto it for a long time. Bradley thought about it, up high, Granger, one hand, couldn't mark it, clean bowled Phillips. Robertson gave it back to Phillips. Giles called for it, a short chip and a good kick. Giles has got it, check side of the uh, centre wing spot. Granger, well out of position at the moment. Gets around short, goes towards Bradley and he takes the slips catch at centre wing. Bradley kick number nine. Tremendous duel between Bradley and Hayden. It's who can do the most uh, attacking because they're certainly not checking one another. James gets the kick away and Bucky Cunningham takes it. Half forward flank. Now he kicked the goal just a moment ago from here. Bradley goes in for the short pass. Good mark. Once again, he's given Hayden the slip. We see him do that repeatedly. Slip into the forward line and look for the, uh, the short pass. And that's helped Port Adelaide to the extent of about 10 metres. He's kicked a few goals this year, uh, Ian. I think against Torrens, from memory, was it four or five from the wing? He played very well. Particularly well on that occasion, Peter. Bradley's got it this time about 35, 40 metres out. A very assured young man. Certainly can't get him into a flap. There's the angle. Nice-looking kick. Never looked like missing. What a fine young player. His first goal. Port Adelaide 12-3, South Adelaide 7-2. Nats on the ground now for Johnson. That's Nats' first run for today. Cunningham's short chip then to Bradley was uh, a very good one. It was spot on. Bradley took the mark and kicked the goal. What a, a, a tussle is between Bradley and Hakeley. They play their games differently, both playing well though. Port Adelaide 12-3, South 7-2. Nat having his first jump at the ball against Brooksby. Brooksby beats him to it, but it got straight down to James to the half-forward line. Go Port Adelaide. Thumped away by Kapler. Ivanov recovers well. Gets out of trouble by changing direction. Finds Butler centre-half back. Ivanov provides the run, but Butler's going to kick longer up towards centre field. 
White almost trapped it beautifully and get past James. He's in business. Carney wants it around the corner. He gives it to the Bickler. The Bickler's got to get round Giles. Plays on, but it's much touched off the boot. Oh, King bowls in. Hewitt into the open goal. If he can get his foot to it, he can't. Brilliantly stopped there by Denny Hughes. I think he probably just got his hand to it in time before Hewitt could kick it across the line. Well, I think Sneebickler might have kicked a goal if he'd stopped. He was within range. Hughes kicks off. Looking for Brooksby. Nat in front. The smash comes from behind. Eckerman swallows it. Kicks to the centre of the ground. There's no one home. Over the top. Granger gets a good bounce. Can't find his feet. Baines beats him to it. He'll hook it back to Butler. That's over that player's head. I think Butler might be in the middle at the moment. Short Butler. Or Butler's put down and the umpire has played a kick up forward. And that's going to Glenn Hewitt. He's too far out to score. Carty on a lead. Ignored. Hewitt goes long. Sneebickler up. Can't mark the ball. Or oh, Hawkins off the pack. It's rolling towards the goal. It hit the post. Most unlucky. 7-4 the Panthers. The Mag plays 12-3. Hawkins did it well for a big man. It's pretty mobile. Danny Hughes. It's a lead from Nat. Put him under the hammer somewhat. Brooksby had no trouble getting his hand to the ball first. Hately and Bradley. In comes Brooksby for the shepherd. And Bradley's given away the free kick to his opponent, Ron Hately. Kick number 13 coming up to Hately. He goes to the lead of Carney on this occasion. They haven't looked for him too often. That's a perfect pass. Out by the players' race. Could be too far out to score. Looking for a short lead. Ward gives him one, but he's going in longer. He's got Stabickler in the square. Puts it high. Snabickler. Phillips right there with him. Up goes Martin Leslie. Goes for the safety of the line, but Hewitt's got it. Watch back up support. Wolves there. 30 metres out. Butler. Oh, he stumbled. Turns left. Then right. Back onto his left leg. And he's put it offline for one point. Bad luck for Shane Butler when he's in a position. Stumbled at the critical moment. South still keeping in the game, but only just. Trailing by 27 points. Robertson's going to take the kick out. Gets plenty of distance. Looking for Martin Leslie. Hewitt's behind that player. Down it comes towards Shane Butler again. He gets the handball back to Hewitt. A quick kick forward. Not going to find us out. Adelaide player. Robertson sees it goes over. Sees it go over the line and there'll be a ball in. We're 20 minutes into this second quarter. Tim Evans, of course, has already got his 100th goal. Nat tries to grab the ball from the throw-in. Down it comes to Naley. Oh, he's caught holding the ball. He often does that, Mark Naley. Tries to get into an open space and gets caught. Free kick going to Ivan Ackerman. Now, he's got Hughes on this side of the ground if he wants him. That's where the ball comes. Robertson, if he wants him again. Hughes is going to kick the ball. Ivan off. Granger in front. Oh, Ivan off almost marked the ball. He but caught. Didn't have the ball. Unlucky not to be free kick. Kapler comes away with it. Not a good kick. Cunningham marks it. He'll sweep it out wide looking for Hofner. Hofner playing pretty well at half forward. Gill is calling for the ball way over this side of the ground at centre half forward. Hofner saw him. Now Granger's in front of the pack. Didn't leap for the ball. It came straight through to Hately. Hately playing very well today. Extremely well. He's probably best man on the ground at the moment. He went short and found Bennett. Bennett at centre half back. Hewitt gives the lead on the outer side, but he's going to come towards the lead of Snabickler. Too far for that player. Phillips in a perfect position as Snabickler slipped in the mud of the uh, pitch. And Phillips has kick number 10. Had trouble extracting his feet out. Ivan off. Baines under pressure. Holding the ball. Dropped it when tackled. Baines shows anguish as umpire Neville Thorpe gives the kick to. Uh, Who's going to take it? Bucky Cunningham at centre-half forward. He's about 45, 50 metres out. Cunningham has already booted one this quarter. Gave him one also to Bradley. Gill gave a lead, but Cunningham's going for home with this shot. He's within kicking distance. The breeze at his back. A nice-looking drop pump, but he's hooked it off line. Evans marks the ball, but it's across for a point before doing so. 12-4 Port Adelaide, 7-5 South. Approaching full-time here at Adelaide. Fairclough gives the lead. That's where the ball comes. Ebert coming in to uh, apply some pressure. Fairclough puts the ball to centre wing, but Nat intercepts beautifully. 
He'll look for Evans. Oh, it's not a good kick. It's a floater. Underneath it was Ivan off. Evans took it off the top. The handball was not a good one. Kepler comes away and with a very good left foot kick finds Baines. Baines will go long to Sneebickler on a lead. Beautifully put. Sneebickler falls over and takes a good mark. Got no one to kick to. Carty on a lead in front of Hughes. Can't take the mark. Giles will run away with the ball for Port Adelaide. Playing pretty well. That's a floater though to centre half forward. Granger underneath it. A good spoil from Palmer. Baines couldn't make the effort. Robin White conceding ground. Puts it wide to Hakeley. Not direct football from South Adelaide at the moment. Carty bent down. Couldn't pick the ball up. Fairclough in trouble. So is Carty. Sweeps it wide to Graham Brooksby. He goes long to centre half forward. Oh, the ball stopped, and in came Phillips to take the easiest of marks. Yeah, that late forward line getting caught well out of position, Peter. They uh, look a mess at the moment. Port Adelaide defence having a ball. Phillips covers about, not Phillips Hughes, covers about 55, 60 metres. And Gill has given a free kick for a push in the back, I think, at centre half forward. And he'd be within kicking distance. Alan Gill, a full forward pocket specialist, should make the distance from here. The kick is a nice-looking drop punt, but once again, he's hooked it offline. It's almost a carbon copy of Bucky Cunningham's kick. And another point is registered to Port Adelaide. 12-5, South 7-5. Phil Brooksby playing at fullback now. He was shifted onto Evans after it appeared that uh, Palmer was going to have trouble against Evans' superior bulk. Palmer gave the lead. Short to Fairclough. I think Fairclough's playing centre now. Ebert seems to be chasing him all over the place and Fairclough covering a lot of ground. I think you're right, Ian. The kick is to centre wing. James up. Spoils. Butler. Belton. Belton hasn't done a, a great deal today. Baines breaks clear. Short. Sneebickler. He's playing well. So is Phillips, though. Sneebickler will probably put it over the top to Brooksby. Here's a chance, South Adelaide. Brooksby's going to go long. Underneath it, Carty, all in front, Hughes, too strong. Bruce McAvaney. Yes, Fairclough's been in the centre for about 10, metres, uh, 10 minutes, Peter and Ian, and White's onto a wing on Kinnear. Thank you, Bruce. Port Adelaide clear through Eckerman to Belton, having a fairly quiet one for Belton. Now he's clear, puts a long one out in front of Evans, not going to get there. Cunningham and Ivanov, one on one here. Ivanov measures his length, got a free kick there, but he got one. Once again, Hayden, gets wide. Gee, do you think this fellow covers any ground? Burke and Wills would be amateurs in comparison to this fellow, but he's got no one to kick to. That's his 15th, 16th kick coming up, and the only person he could kick to would be Bradley, and that's his opponent. So he kicks straight to Granger. South Adelaide getting caught well out of position, and Port Adelaide just with a ring of players there around their defensive area, or at least South's defensive area, and Hately just had to hit and hope. Well, he hoped wrong because Granger's got the ball, and he'll make the distance with a good kick. Plenty of time. A magnificent torpedo punt, but he's offline again. Port Adelaide missing on that left-hand side the whole time, Peter. You think almost the breeze was pushing it that way, but that's not so. No, it's not, uh, Ian. It's pretty hard to work out. Palmer goes short on this occasion. That looks like uh, Condor, is it, or Graham Brooksby? Brooksby, Brooksby short to Butler. Butler's going to put it over the top to Bennett. Now, again, Bennett hasn't really got a player to kick to. South Adelaide falling down across half forward. Out comes Carty. Well, almost trapped the ball, but Robertson does it better. Sweeps it into the centre of the ground. Fairclough again in front of Russell Ebert. Takes a good mark. Fairclough's going to sweep it wide, looking for Hakeley. Behind Hoffner. Yes, he interfered with Hoffner. Put the hand on the shoulder, and Hoffner's going to take the free kick. It was a technical free kick, that one. I don't think uh, there was any obstruction. Hakeley uh, probably saying just that to the umpire. Hoffner will kick long. A torpedo punt. In front, Granger. Can't take the mark. Russell Ebert just couldn't get the handball away before it went out. Now, David Granger is not 100% fit. He's probably working his way back into fitness. Beautifully put down to Naley from Hawkins. Naley's dropped right out of the game since late in the first quarter. Had a couple of bounces, short to Robin White. Robin White is going to play it on. Looking for someone to kick it to. He goes very short. 
to Glenn Hewitt. Well, Hewitt's handball was smothered by Robertson. He wanted Steve Bickler, but couldn't get it to him. South Adelaide 7 5, Port Adelaide 12 6. South being forced into that crab like movement going forward again. Hayden Button wouldn't be happy with the situation at the moment. South forward's a mess, and the umpire has given a free kick, and it's going to Port Adelaide. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Chris Nat off the half back line. He runs it to Phillips, plays on. He'll come grandstand side. Brilliant running here by Hughes. He's rebounded a full bat. He's up over the centre line when he gets his kick. A long one. He heaves it up towards Evans in front. Can't get the kick away. Schultz once again has Hakeley clear. But now who's Hakeley going to kick to on this occasion? Shoots it to Cart. He's having a run on the ball by the looks of things. He followed Hughes back from full forward, uh, Ian. Thank you, Peter. Hawkins. South Adelaide. Now, can they get it through their half-forward line? This time it's going to be Nat. No. Oh, thrown away by the Port Adelaide defence to Cunningham. White there. Drop the ball. Cunningham, or is it going to be Giles' free kick? Giles, built. Kinnear. Giles again. To the half-forward line. Schulz. James, but a free kick. And I agree with you, Peter. There's some technical free kicks being picked up this afternoon. Yes, particularly the high tackles. I think the umpires have uh, become a bit hysterical with the high tackle. I think we better call them something else so that uh, it doesn't become so monotonous. Robin White, Baines, on to Naley. Good movement, South Adelaide. Now they got anyone to kick it to. Here comes Carty. They said Carty still hasn't made his way back to full forward. He plays it on to Butler. Back to Carty. Now, Carty can make the distance if he thinks about it. The kick on the way. Yes, that was very well done, Carty. A low trajectory punt kick on that occasion. His first goal. South Adelaide 8-5 to Port Adelaide 12-6. And that goal broke the drought in. Wayne hasn't had a good game up to date, but he's getting himself into it more, covering plenty of ground, perhaps chasing his opponent, but the one-two was good one there, and Carty kicked low into the breeze and got it through, and South Adelaide have got another goal on the board. They're eighth, Carty's first, and they trail eight, five to 12-6. It's Port Adelaide by 25 points, and it must be very close to half-time at uh, Adelaide Oval. There he is, Rob Hawkins. He's carried the weight of the South Rucks for most of the year. Too big a job, I think, for one man. Nat got it away on that occasion. Hoffner, Nat again. Granger was caught under the ball. Palmer goes back. Well, couldn't get boot to ball, or he did, but it was smothered. Players stack up, and there'll be a bounce. South Adelaide are just staying in touch. The siren has gone to end the first half here at Adelaide Oval with South Adelaide. Eight goal, five. Port Adelaide, 12-6. South player thought he was running into an open goal. Hughes long to the outer side. Johnson getting under it with Phillips, but wisely called that player out. Johnson takes it. Bell set a half back. Leslie, not the best of handballs, put that player under pressure. Hoffner. Baines, Hoffner. Well, the handball from Hoffner wasn't good. Found, uh, found Butler. Hooks around the corner. Wald in position, does it well. 45 metres out. The breeze at his back. I get the impression maybe it's fresh and just a little. Certainly fresh up the back of the stand, I can tell you. Philip Wold. Screw punt is going to drop short. Never ever got started. It's the Bickler one-handed. Quickly in Bennett now. Can't get through. Carty. Leslie over the top. The handball out. The Bickler's got it this time. Did it well. Oh, touched. Touched by Phillips. A good effort. One point only. Well, very close. Snee Bickler then. He got the handball. Let's have a look at it on replay. You see Carty dive on top of the ball. Got the handball out. Snee Bickler, yes. The umpire was on the spot. And he saw the touch. Meanwhile, it's back in play. Russell Ebert, <coughs> who uh, is being well held by Fairclough in the second quarter. Gill hasn't been in the game much at all. Giles got it out to Bradley. Here's a run for Port Adelaide. Evans on the lead. Well, it was quite well put, but uh, Brooksby did it well to take front position off Evans. The handball came across to Baines. He looks for Wool. Gee, that was well put too. Wool is going to swing it back. No, he's going to swing the handball over the top. South Adelaide are going to run it in through Fairclough. The kick on the way. Gee, that's gone over the top of Hughes. Beautifully done, South Adelaide. First goal to Fairclough, and South Adelaide have started pretty well after half time. 9 7, Port Adelaide 12 6. Fairclough has played well since being moved to centre. Wall took a good mark. It was a brilliant handball too, although he had to wait momentarily for it. He got round Giles easily, almost run down, but the kick 
with the breeze was a good one and South Adelaide have got an all important goal on the board 9-7 they trail Port Adelaide 12-6 we're six minutes into the second half only 17 points separate the teams and uh, Port Adelaide have had a couple of lucky ones Evans first goal was a lucky one Granger got an iffy free kick as well so South Adelaide not doing too badly the Ruckman's arms locked then Cunningham got a quick kick away Ivanoff out of the blocks in front of Huppets he's an improved back pocket player this fellow Ivanoff puts it wide to uh, Naley he doesn't quite get to the ball Wooled Eckerman Eckerman's got the ball now the umpire's going to have to come in and bounce it 78 points Port Adelaide plays 61 points south six minutes into the second half Brooksby against Johnson close to the line Huppets almost Brooksby Gets a kick away towards the half forward line. Robertson Stabickler spoils that player, but he gave the run almost to Giles Belton. Port Adelaide to the half forward line in front of Gill. He took it well. The running player on the outer side there is Cunningham. High in towards Evans, right there with him. Brooksby playing in front. A good mark, a solid mark in defence, and he's got just as much pace, it would seem, as Tim Evans. Of course, Evans kicked his 100th goal in that second quarter from a magnificent mark. Fittingly so, Hawkins at centre half back. Snabickler on the move. 15 metres allowed to Hawkins. He kicks long, but it's off the side of his boot. Robertson, cool under pressure, takes the mark. Port Adelaide lucky it's got this half back line, otherwise it could be in trouble. Bradley, Cunningham short. Bradley's going to put it over to Giles. Giles is almost run down, gets the kick away, and a good mark taken by Gill. It's only his third kick across to Eckerman. He's a long way down. Could this be a goal for the back pocket player? Always put it on the way, just off line. One point. Oh, Eckerman's followed somebody down, I would imagine. Butler, well, South have been running two rovers all afternoon, and Eckerman's been on his line some, Peter. You'd think he doesn't use the right deodorant, but uh, he's, uh, he's up in attack at the moment, and it could have been a goal quite easily. Brooksby. Baines will be the leaper. Good mark. Belton put plenty of pressure on. Baines has got it at centre half back. Kick number 11 as he comes to the half forward left flank. Well bodied. Oh, Mike. Better chance. Robertson can't catch him or he dropped the second opportunity. Hooks around the corner. Carney. Oh, run into by his own player, but he's been paid the mark. Snabickler's there. I think he's hurt Snabickler too. Momentarily winded. Snabickler with the uh, hands on the knees. But Carney for South Adelaide, 25 metres out, 45 degree angle. Kick underway, that's through. Carney's second goal and South Adelaide coming back strongly in the third quarter. 10-7, they trail Port Adelaide, 12-7. Don't move. South Adelaide is certainly uh, applying the pressure. Steve Bickler on the lead, White's going to go long. He's looking for Carty. Carty is outnumbered. Whoa, he almost marked it. Second, South Adelaide now within six points. Well, Carty almost take a good mark, took a good mark. But would be a lot happier the way things are going at the moment. Let's have a look at it in replay. Robin White, an enormous screw punt. Carty gets one hand to it, almost completed. Wool at the back of the pack. What a dream run through for his second. And South Adelaide within one straight kick of the league leader. They're playing well. Fairclose doing tremendously well in the middle. Hawkins is lifted. Doesn't get the tap on that occasion. Huppets on the bottom of the pack. There'll be a rebound. And ball away is not good. However, he's got to go get it himself. This time it's better. Leslie over the half forward line out towards Evans, but it's not well directed. And Ivanoff in defence takes a good mark. He's almost on the edge of the square. Are they giving a 15 metre penalty? The ball has uh, been booted off. Ivanov asked to take the kick just on the edge of the square. He'll get a lead from Baines, and that's where the ball goes. He's still on side the line. Just looking for that interchange. Did it occur? No, he's still here, so uh, Granger's still on the ground. The punt kick towards centre wing by Baines has been thumped away. Here's a chance. Russell Johnson puts it back to the half-forward line of Port Adelaide. First recover will be fair play. Goes wide out looking for Haightley. Here's a chance for South Adelaide. Butler will provide some run for him. Eckerman doesn't know where to go. He goes towards Wald at half forward. Oh, he ducked his head at a critical time. Johnson getting back there with Naley. Johnson and Naley. Leslie. 
Giles. Got him under pressure. Not a good handball at all. Through goes right. Nose over the ball. The tackle's high. Free kick. Always got his nose over the ball. Ball. He's bottom up. Goes in hard. Let's have a look at it in the replay. Here comes the tackle that was high from Belton. He had the ball in any case, but now he's got a free kick. Robin White, he's certainly a tiger. Screws one forward, getting under it. Cardi couldn't take the mark. Phillips read it beautifully to Robertson. Kinnear's short, and that's where it goes. Kinnear hasn't got anyone to give it to. The handball is smothered. In comes Leslie. Port Adelaide making plenty of mistakes. That'll go to Belton. Belton hasn't played well. Short, James. James didn't mark it, but he got a high one, so he'll take a free kick. James wants to play on and does. Well, the kick's not well put, though. Bradley in front. Couldn't take the mark. Butler will get there first. He's got Hakeley if he wants him, but he ran the wrong way. Now it gets to Hakeley. Now he's dropped the second mark in as many minutes. Picking up is Gill. Gill hasn't played well either for Port Adelaide. James in the centre of the ground marks. He's got Belton. Port Adelaide desperate to get some run in their game. Evans is one out against Brooksby. Or oh, the ball's going to run forward. Well, Evans is going to get another free kick. We might be able to have a look at that one in replay. I don't know if uh, you agree with it, Ian. We'll have a look at it. Well, Peter, it was pretty difficult. Someone was hanging on to somebody. It seemed like, oh, there's the arm over the shoulder, and I think you'll find it's a good decision. Tim Evans thought so, the smile on his face. He got an easy one first time up, but still a full forward. Gets plenty of work, plenty of attention given to them. Tim Evans from point-blank range couldn't possibly miss. That's his 101st goal for the season. His fifth today, Port Adelaide 13-7, 12-13-7, South Adelaide 11-7. Curley was playing too. He was the captain coach of South Adelaide on that occasion. Craig Evert takes a mark. Kicks wide to Craig Bradley. In fact, South, Adelaide, South Adelaide's opponent on that day was, of course, Port Adelaide. Ken Cunningham, I think, was the umpire. Funnily enough, Peter, their three premierships have all been uh, against Port Adelaide. They've won them against Port Adelaide. Incredible. Bradley's kick forward. Ivanoff from behind, a good spoil. Schulz, Baines. Kicked a very high ball, Baines. Could bring rain. Hakeley's marked it. Stood his ground well then, Ron Hakeley. It's the first kick I've seen him have that far forward for a while. Gee, he's given Hewitt a chance. Hewitt way out in front of uh, Roberts on that occasion. And Glenn Hewitt might just be able to sneak this one through. Probably a, only a 45 metre distance, but the ball on the way. Gee, I think it's just off line, yes. The left side of the post again, 11-8 south, 13-8 Port Adelaide. Hewitt's got two goals. Danny Hughes. Bradley down the outer side. Phillips is going to go for a burn. Oh, he's left it behind. He's in trouble now. It's the Bickler grounded him, but he's going to be supported over there by Giles. Giles on the half-back flank puts it high. Not well directed, however. Oh, Brooksby made a poor attempt to get to that. Fairclough makes a better one. Around. He's done that well. He's in trouble now. He's got the kick away, however. In towards the Bickler. Good mark. 35 metres out. Certainly he was made to pay for him by Russell Johnson who came down heavily on that player, not Russell Johnson, Martin Leslie. Let's have a look at it in replay. The Bickler had it, and Leslie all over him like a gravel rash. And the Bickler will have it from 45 metres out, similar angle. Has kicked three. Although Phillips has played extremely well at centre half back when the Bickler was at centre half forward, he's certainly done well in that position also. Mr. Bickler taking plenty of time into time on of this third quarter. The kick is offline slightly, one point only, and South move on to 11 10, 14, Port Adelaide 14 8. Kicking off Hughes, not a good kick. Going wide, Phillips up, spoiling with Steve Bickler. Naley in again, has been very quiet for two quarters. Pats the ball in front of him. Well, he's going to run it alone, Naley. Loves to run. Kick on the way. Gee, that's a good effort from the South Rover. A great solo performance. That's his first goal, an important one to South Adelaide. 12-10 now to Port Adelaide, 14-8.
Peter, it's often been said that commentators only open their mouth to change their feet sometimes. We're just saying how quiet he's been. And have a look at this for a brilliant solo effort. Two Port Adelaide defenders can't catch him. Caught on his left leg and with his 13th kick, pops it through for a magnificent goal. And South Adelaide fight back to 12-10, trailing Port Adelaide 14-8. There's only 10 points in it. South still a chance, although they're going with a slight breeze at this stage. Port Adelaide will have the use of it in the last quarter. Baines again. He's got plenty of kicks away from that centre area. Spoiling is Giles. Bradley's on the end of it. Or oh, a quick kick back to centre half forward. James and Palmer. Palmer too good. Plays it on immediately to Haightley again. Gee, makes it open space well, Haightley. You ought to go into business doing that. Fairclough is lurking in the centre, but Hakeley will go long, I think. No, he sweeps it wide, looking for Bennett. Not a percentage kick, Hakeley, if you want to kick goals. I don't know what South have achieved by going out wide like that all the time, Peter, because their half-forward line's been well held. You just wonder whether a more direct approach would have uh, brought better results, although you can't complain. They're only 10 points down from the league leader. Yeah, they've played it pretty well, Ian, but uh, as you say, they've got trouble across half-forward and... It's perhaps off, offsetting them a bit. Hakeley again. He's kicked his leg off today. Oh, good mark, Butler. Oh, a ton of courage, Butler. He was going against the, the trend. He had Eckerman on one side of him and Robertson on the other, but he held ground beautifully for a good mark. Now, if Butler goals here, South will be within four points. Oh, not a good kick away. Gee, it only just made the distance. A point only, 12-13. Port 14-8. South have missed a couple of easy ones this quarter, although Port Adelaide did in the uh, second quarter as well. Shooting to the northern end. A good kick off by Hughes to the outer side. A lot of jostling going on. Cunningham the first to recover. Sweeps it out wide. Nat. Giles. A long kick to the half forward line. Gill and Kapler. First to recover. Palmer. Schulz. Ivanov, going to be run down, great tackle, hauled the play on, in goes Huppets, the tackle by Schulz is ruled OK and the umpire will come in and bounce, centre wing out of sight and we've played three minutes of time on. 14 there is Fairclo who's done a very good job in the centre on Russell Evert. Nat was there for Port Adelaide, running it clear Fairclo, the kick forward. Would has got it, played it well. Haightley's on the run. Phillips wouldn't give him a chance for the loose man. Haightley's kicks are straight. It's out on the full, in fact. Brooks Niebeck probably could have tried a bit harder to set up the loose man then. Robertson with the free kick. Sweeps it wide. Phillips from behind. Oh, big leap. The umpire's going to pay it to the man in front. Nat. Nat short towards centre wing. Naley coming off, trying to cut off Bradley. Took the knock high. Gee, the boys not well. Looks like it was a legitimate attempt to uh, spoil, but trying to tell that to young Bradley at the moment. He took the knock high. Kicked by Craig Even. Goes towards the half forward line. James in front. Huppert smothered. Has to butter up again. Gets it back. Naley can't get it. Huppert has butted up for the third time. Craig Ebert conceding ground. Back now to Bradley around the corners. Recovered okay. Palmer thumps away as the siren sounds to end the third quarter here at Adelaide Oval. Port Adelaide doing it the hard way. Only nine points in front. And at three-quarter time, they lead 14-8. South Adelaide, 12-11. Porter certainly pretty keen to uh, win this game. South Adelaide, though, not giving up. Johnson got the tap away, but Baines again out of the centre. She's reading the ball well. Wooled played it well. Plenty of opposition. Finally to Fairclough. Fairclough puts a high ball. Hately's going to be under it. Wooled. Carty's got it now. Now, Hewitt can bounce all the way. There's no way known that he can't run into an open goal. Over to Steve Bickler and it's pretty easy when they happen like that. Four to Steve Bickler. Port Adelaide defenders all ran forward then. South still in it, 13-11. The Magpies, 15-9. Well, full marks to Glenn Hewitt for giving the goal away, but I don't think he had to. He could have gone home himself with the ball and had an afternoon tea party. Watch him all the way in bounces. Good shepherding by Carty, although I don't think Kinnear would have ever got there. And he handballs across to Bickler into the open goal. 
and South Adelaide 13-11. Trail Port Adelaide 15-9. Ten points in it. Darren Kepler on, walled off. Craig Ebert. Hoffner's under it. Good mark. Very good mark, Hoffner. Cunningham the run. They're trying everything Port Adelaide. Back it goes to Granger. He's having to run backwards. He is surrounded by five South Adelaide players at the moment. Fairclough finally gets rid of it. Baines. Russell Johnson. She's caught with the ball. Bursting through the pack. Naley. South Adelaide have got one at the moment. Naley's going to run it forward. Can he kick a goal? It won't come back far enough. Off line a point. 13-12 the Panthers. 15-9 Port Adelaide. And in a South Adelaide good enough. Well, only time will tell, Peter. They're playing well enough at the moment. Port Adelaide can't seem to lift from anywhere. Button certainly uh, animated down there. He feels as though South Adelaide's can win this. Hawkins almost. Here's a chance to Bickler. 40 metres out. Heads for home. And the kick is a shocker. Yeah, I think he's going to miss altogether. Close to the line. And the ball has hit the out-of-bounds post or the behind post, which is out of play. The Bickler could have steadied for another couple of metres there. He was uh, really mobile. And we see Conda coming off now. And Philip Ward going back on. South in the forward pocket. Hewitt has a snapshot. The umpire starting to gallop, indicating that the shot was offline. One point to the Panthers. 13 goals. 13, that will be South the Port Adelaide 15-9. Very close game here at Adelaide Oval. Hughes kicking off. 50 metres under it is Phillips. Leslie couldn't mark it. Snee Bickler again. He's an effective player today. Cardi's on the end of it. Oh, he got around beautifully. Here's a chance. Bennett on the Darren Kepler. It goes. He's missed. Oh, South Adelaide are throwing away chances. 13 14 now. Port 15 9. Superb passage of place to Bickler. That was a beautiful kick around the corner that gave Cardi the city. Did everything right. And young Kepler into the open goal. South, as Peter said, causing themselves some problems at the moment. Belt, and he's put in a quiet one. He's going to get a trip for legging. The umpire lets them play on. Ebert's kick is not a good one. Kepler in front for South Adelaide. Baines in again. Palmer. Hawkins. Back to Palmer in the one-two. Clear is the Bickler. Gee, he's covering some ground. Hewitt wants it, but the kick is not a good one. Hughes through. Cunningham back in defence around the corner. Bradley should get there first. White right there with him. Sends it out of play on the half-forward left flank. The crowd sensing that South Adelaide has got a chance now. As the underdog is down by only seven points. Still plenty of time. Almost 11 minutes into the final quarter. Hawkins over the top. He's given South Adelaide a big chance today. White fighting for it. As is Cunningham. Through goes Ebert. Sweeps a long handball out. But didn't find a Port Adelaide player. Picking up as Belton. Hasn't been in it a lot today. Short, Hoffner, players sack up. Running it through is Granger, fighting very hard for the ball. He did that well. Gets boot to ball. There's no one home. Underneath is Haitley. Juggles the mark. Don't know that he's got anyone to kick to at the moment. Baines is short in the centre. He goes long, though. Gee, that wasn't a well-directed kick. Russell Johnson under it. Here's a chance. Port Adelaide. Kinnear will run it forward. He'll have a shot for goal. Ball on the way. It's gone through. Well, that was a hateful mistake then. A poor kick to the centre of the ground. The first one to Kinnear. Port Steady, 16-9, South 13-14. Wolves, nowhere to go. Thought about Palmer. Hawkins. The half-forward line, Hewitt up high. But Port Adelaide in defence, and Giles is hurt. Probably a knee in the back. He pretty up, or up pretty quickly. He's got Eckerman short in the centre. He hasn't seen him. Long, high ball. Hoffner is under it. One grab. Can't mark the ball. That's David Kapler. He's a good kicker of the ball. He kicks to his brother. That's down. He missed the last chance for South Adelaide. Short on this occasion, Carty. I don't know if Carty can kick a goal from there. You need a set of sights. You wouldn't be able to see daylight, I don't think, Carty. He's almost over the line. Doesn't look too fit today, Wayne Carney. Gives it a chance to the front of goal. Off a lone hand there was Robertson. Cunningham supplying the lead. Robertson finally gets the kick away. Gee, Cunningham surrounded. The punch came from Ivanoff. Giles in. Beautifully stolen, Naley. 
Naley sidesteps Leslie. Here's a chance out that late. Naley lines him up. What a great goal, Naley. Another solo performance from the South champion. That's his second. South won't give up. 14-14, Port 17-9. Peter, what an extraordinary effort. Have you ever seen a player with such beautiful balance? Look at those legs going like pistons. Darks bounces either hand and into the open goal and a perfect kick. His second goal and South still in there fighting. 14-14, they trail Port Adelaide 17-9. Approaching the 17-minute mark now, the last quarter. South still will that smell of victory. Cunningham tries to get them clear. Plenty of pressure. We'll have another bounce, says the umpire. Port have lifted, and I think it's players like Cunningham who have won some hard balls. Belton's got a couple of kicks of late. Johnson's getting a few good touches. He got that down. Cunningham. Kinnear's also lifted. But that kick was smothered. In comes Palmer. Craig Ebert couldn't get the handball away. Granger's fighting for it. So is Robin White. Beautifully done, Robin White. Check sides one towards Hewitt. Yeah, that was well put. Check side on the run. They're not often used to pass the ball with, but effective on that occasion. Hewitt looking for Snee Bickler. Gee, surrounded by four players. Darren Kapler is stopped in mid-flight. The handball came out, but the up is going to bounce it. 14-14 South, Port 17-9. We've played 17, almost 18 minutes of the final quarter. The league leader certainly not having it their own way. The bounce down, in goes to Bickler to thump the ball. Quickly to Bennett, smothered off the boot. It's all Danny Hughes down there. Hewitt comes down on that player, but he eagerly eludes him and gets a big kick back towards centre wing. It's all south. Hawkins made hard work of it. Gives a chance to Wood, who appears to be playing in defence at the moment. Long kick towards the Bickler at the back of the pack. Carney shoots one in towards goal. I think it's not going to get there. Just came offline one point. And that's the third easy shot that South Adelaide's had in this last quarter. It should have been goal, but hasn't. Carney playing a long way up from full forward. Hughes is gobbling anything up that comes in short. A long kick. Sneebickler behind. Good spoil. Well, Bennett was caught. Belton picks it up. Looks for Kinnear. The handball, not a good one. Although Belton didn't really have an option then. I don't think he could have been flat-footed. I don't think he could have made centre-half forward with it. So, but what he did was strangely effective. Baines, Cunningham again. He's won a lot of hard balls, Cunningham. He gave that to Giles. Giles was retarded then. Well, he didn't have anyone to handball it to. Baines getting back. He had a look at Granger before the event. Granger got a high tackle and... Uh, and the free kick. Granger has kicked the ball prodigious distances today. That's no exception. That's given Evans a chance. James is getting back. Oh, he almost marked it. I think he's being paid. Ray Huppert was going to run into a goal, but I think James uh, pulled that down onto his chest, Ian. Let's have a look at it in replay. Yeah, good enough for a mark, Peter. I would have paid that one. Fair enough. And... James, who's uh, put in some big leaps this afternoon, has got a chance to kick his fourth goal. Ooh, I think he's got it. Fourth goal to James. Port Adelaide steadying again. 18-9, they lead South Adelaide 14-15. Port Adelaide in attack. The big marking of both Evans and James will be invaluable as the final series commence. Fair close. South Adelaide's kick in the position hasn't been all that good, although that one dropped into the waiting arms of Ivanov. Runs it to Kapler. Kapler now goes long towards the half forward line. It's the Bickler there with Carney getting back Giles. He's played better as the game has progressed. A high kick back centre field, having to stand his ground, but did it well with Craig Ebert. Thought about playing on. Fair close changed his mind. On the lead is James. Evans wants it one side. James the other. Port Adelaide can't miss here. Evans is going to get the leap again up over the top. Can't bring it down. Hately looks a little tired. He's had that many kicks. Shules in defence. What about a handball? Palmer. Back to Shules. Fair throw at centre wing. South Adelaide clear now towards the Bickler. Too far for that player. Robinson. A useful performer all afternoon. Too far, however, 
for Johnson. Fair close, Barney's in the pocket, he wants it. Fair close, won't give it to him. Got the chutney, now gives out a pass. In towards the Bickler, the big fellow gets up, he's got it. Oh, he got into that Port Adelaide player. I can't see who it is. Phillips it was. Watch him right up on top. One, two grabs as he goes to the ground, and he's taken a fine mark, 35 metres out. What a tremendous struggle these two players have had all afternoon, Phillips and Stabickler. Stabickler with four goals. He's done a lot of useful work, but Phillips also. His 17th kick, Stabickler, but Phillips has taken many fine marks and made some clearing dashes. Nick Stabickler's kick. It looks awkward, but it's going right through the middle. His fifth goal. And South Adelaide still in there, pitching 15-15. They trail Port Adelaide 18-10. Phillips has had 14 kicks at centre-half back, but he's played extremely well, the Port champion. Steve Bickler has had his moments. Certainly kept his eyes on that ball. Brilliant attempt to mark. He kicked goal number five. South Adelaide 15-15, the Magpies 18-10. Against him, Evans, this time, and we go to Brooksby. He plays off. He doesn't know where to go. Hately's not clear this time, and so he goes down centre-field to Nail. Naley holds ground. Now he takes off. He's got Hewitt wide. Handball that one to himself. He'll run all the way, Naley. What pace he's got. He's going to run right into that pocket. Who's he got to kick to? He's got Snee Bickler short. Carty's there as well. Or oh, Bennett with a charge. Carty again. South Adelaide desperate. The umpire will have... Oh, he's given a free kick for holding the ball. Against the South Adelaide player. Carty, I think it was, and it'll go no. to... Against Shane Butler, actually, Peter. Shane Butler, was it? Leslie had the kick and it went to the centre of the ground to Johnson. Or South had a chance then. Belton short in the centre, but ignored by Johnson. Hofner up. Well, couldn't mark the ball, almost did. Belton concedes ground. The handball's astray. Kinnear, as Ian Day said, improving with every minute. Craig Ebert, Hofner. He looks a tired player. Well, oh, I think he might have kicked it. He certainly has. Good goal, Hoffner. His second. Port Adelaide have got the game won. 19-10 to South Adelaide, 15-15. Full marks to Port Adelaide. Hoffner's 12th kick. He's kicked two goals. He could have had three. He'd been more accurate on that occasion. Brooksby will go long. Baines, White, or oh, White up high. Good mark. He wants to play on. Belton won't let him. Again, White hasn't really got anyone to kick it to. He has to run it forward. Hawkins, Johnson. Johnson's going to be paid. Paid the mark, I think, on that occasion. Phillips wide, looking for Bradley. Beautifully put. Bradley's got Ebert, but then has to go backwards. Kaplan applying the pressure. Beautifully put to Ebert. And then to Eckerman. Ivan Eckerman. A long kick. Evans on a lead. He hasn't marked the ball. The siren has gone to end an entertaining game here at Adelaide Oval. South Adelaide did extremely well. 15-15. They were beaten by the league leaders. 19-11.